I was Courtney. I dreamed of helping people as an artist, but I was trafficked into sex trade at 23. I died at 29. Those I believe loved me, forced me into becoming a slave, treated me as a commodity in the underworld of sex trafficking, abused me, and took advantage of me every day since. I was approached when I moved to a new place as a um, ninth grader and he groomed me just you know what, what it's interesting because we call the word grooming but really it's the same as courting just with bad intentions but he took me to his house and invited me in and um, ended up drugging and raping me so a couple days later um, he showed up at school with photos he and his cousins and this organized network ended up trafficking me while I lived at home and went to school during the day. I was first groomed by my parents who sexually abused me. Then they would pass me around and what would happen was my father would um, allow men to come in through the window of my bedroom at night. Men as old as 20, 30, probably 40 and maybe older. I believe I was about four or five years old when it began to happen. They would have these rent parties where they were trying to raise money to pay their rent and they would invite these preachers over to the house. They could choose whether they want to come in my room or go in my sister's room. And I thank God that I'm that I'm still alive, that I'm still able to tell the story. It's important that the world hears us that we are believed and supported in our healing journey. Instead of being stigmatized, we need to be empowered. As a woman healing from trauma, one of my main goals has been to find my voice. And as I find that voice, I am connecting with my purpose in life. And, and that is empowering. Thousands of American children are being trafficked and robbed of their futures and lives. I died young, but your actions can save others. If you suspect trafficking, don't stay silent. Report it. End it. Save a child's life.